Do you really know what your body is trying to tell you when you feel hungry? Started my morning off with drinking 32 ounces of lemon honey water. And then I took my Vimergy B12. And then I drank 32 ounces of celery juice and made a juice for later made of spinach, butter leaf lettuce, an apple, and some ginger. For breakfast, I just had half of a watermelon. For lunch, I had a smoothie made of banana, wild blueberries, raspberries, raw honey, barley grass juice powder, some dulse flakes, and a little bit of lime juice. After lunch, I took my supplements of Ester C, Vitex Berry, L Lysine, Pharma GABA, 5 MTHF, and Hawaiian Spirulina. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog of my medical medium lifestyle. Before we even get into our little topic for today, I have to show you this. This right here is the spot, okay? This was the liver spot that I had a couple of weeks ago or last week. It's like disappearing. It's amazing to see how the body is changing and that the liver is really cleaning itself out and the little spot that was there is now like almost gone. It, there's still some color, but it is fading. And I did not use any filters or anything on here to make it look different. Um, it's really just going all on its own. So it's beautiful to see the body um, sort of cleaning itself out, letting out all the debris that it's been hanging on to, and that this no-fat diet is really supporting my liver, and my liver is healing. So on that note, just noticing about body um, messages one that I like to talk about is when we feel hungry there's actually many different layers to um, understanding the message when we receive as hungry and if you notice uh, sometimes you crave when you are hungry for something sweet or salty and those just are messages that your body is letting you know like hey I need some glucose, not candy, not ice cream, but some fruit sugar, something healthy, okay? Not a sugary coffee. Another thing that we crave, that you're craving for maybe those salt, like some potato chips or some pizza or some Chinese food, that means we need some mineral salts, not from those things, mineral salts. From your dark leafy greens you get it from from fruits you know that's what the body is telling you it's like i need those things and if you're craving for something fatty like you want some fried chicken or you want some i don't know some pizza hamburger greasy something really greasy and fatty it's because you're looking for calories it's not the fat it's calories glucose same thing but you your body is trained in going after when it's in that when basically when your body's telling you it's hungry it's like it's too late it's like you're empty already because actually we should be eating every like two to three hours so that our body is knows that it's going to get energy on a consistent level so it doesn't get spiked up and down with trying to find energy and you won't ever feel like that hunger to me what i have learned is when i actually feel hungry it's too late like that means like my body is under stress and it's like hello where was that thing you weren't listening to me you're supposed to give me my energy every two to three hours and i'm not receiving it i'm not getting my mineral salts my glucose and my potassium um you have to it's like an alert that's what hunger is. So if you supply yourself with that, you'll be less likely to run into those hunger pains or actually feel hungry because that's what I was confused about when I first started grazing. It was like, but I'm not hungry, so why should I eat? Because I was so trained that you eat when you're hungry. <laughs> you don't eat just to eat, eat when you're hungry, but that's not true. 
Um, and I noticed that if I let myself get hungry, that's when I would want the things that were not good for me, or I was reverting back to old behaviors and reaching for um, resources or sources of food that I normally would get glucose from or minerals or salt from or calories from. And that's when you're more than often not, you'll probably reach for something that by habit you remember getting it from because your body is in this like state of panic. So listening to your body and making sure you stay on top of those mineral salts and glucose and potassium every two to three hours can really help to lessen the cravings and it can also supply your body with steady energy and your body will function a lot better. Another thing before um, I go is that when you get hungry, sometimes it's not hunger that you are actually experiencing. Say if you did eat every two, three hours and you're just like, why am I hungry? Um, sometimes it's because you're actually dehydrated and you need some living water and you need to drink some water and hydrate your body. That is another form of why we feel hungry as well. So I hope that these will kind of clear up the messages that your body is trying to tell you and give you the guidance and the support that your body needs so that we can all live a healthy life. In the afternoon, I drank that second green juice that I made earlier this morning and I had it with an apple. For dinner, I just had some Persian cucumbers, some mashed potatoes with some pizza seasoning and some grape tomatoes. After dinner, I took my liquid zinc before having some sliced apples as dessert. Well, that's it for today, you guys. I shall see you guys tomorrow.